What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Green Skies 2. Oh, yeah, guys. So, I took some time and I finished up the base that we were working on last episode. Oh, man, guys, I have spent so much time building in so many blocks, but it's done. That's awesome. I am super happy <laughs> that we have all of those, the upside down pyramids done. Uh, so, as I was building, I was noticing that our stone, our smooth stone supply was going down. Which normally wouldn't have been a problem since we had a deep storage unit full of this stuff from when we were doing the deep dark, uh, mining that out. But, yeah, we had that explosion and we lost our deep storage unit, so we were down to... Uh, the stuff that we are making down here, which I have since removed since we really didn't need that much at the time uh, We are currently at 8,000 smooth stone. I think I Can't remember but I think last episode we had like over 20,000 or maybe it's 18,000 But yeah, I have gone through a lot of blocks placing them with the stairs and the, the pyramids and the platforms and the little patterns on the smooth stone surfaces up here. Oh man, guys, that's so much building, but it's done, and I am very, very thankful for that because <laughs> I am a little tired of building. So yeah, we are getting snow over here. We saw that last time. I uh, showed you guys when it was snowing. We got snow collecting on the platforms, which doesn't look too great, especially on the mini map. You see those little, little white spots on there. Uh, I might have to go through here and add additional lighting underneath these blocks. I will go through and remove the torches and do the under the block glowstone nook lighting like we've done. Uh, but I might have to add extra lights around here just to keep the snow off the platforms. Another thing we could do, I don't know if I really want to do this, but I could go up in the sky all the way up to build limit, what is this, like 255 or 256, whatever it is, the highest you can place blocks. And do like a little platform of glass directly above this entire platform and have to do it for like four or five of these. There's a little bit of snow all the way here on the very last one too. This one isn't too bad. But I don't know, just something I've been thinking about. I don't really like seeing the snow on the platforms. It kind of stinks. I guess we got a little spot right there too. Kind of stinks that, um, yeah, we have to deal with the snow. But whatever, we'll get through it. Yeah, maybe I will do the platforms of glass way up in the sky just so we don't see it. I don't know. But, uh, one thing that I wanted to work on today is our jetpack. We have a really nice jetpack, the Resonant Jetpack Armor Tier 4, but there's another version higher than this. So, let's take a look. Simply jetpacked. I think it's time we upgrade to the top tier stuff. So, this is called a Flux Infused Jet Plate. And in order to make one of these, we have to have our Resonant Jetpack armored, in fact. So we already have that. Then we have to make this Flux Infused Chest Plate. We have to make these Flux Armor Platings, Cryothium Coolant Units, and Flux Thrusters. I don't know, guys. This is kind of feeling like this kind of technology we found in Greg Tech a long time ago with all these little bits and pieces that we have to make. So we have to make a cryothium coolant unit empty and fill it with four buckets worth of gelid cryothium. And to make one of those guys, we need flux electrum ingots in tin and then the hardened glass. And the flux electrum ingot is induction smelter with pyrothium and flux electrum blend. And you make the flux electrum blend by getting electrum blend and putting redstone into it. Oh man, there's just like so many steps to this thing. I didn't even click through all these other ones. We have to make a resonant jet pack or uh, what, a flux pack. I guess it's like a, a battery pack uh, that you put on your back instead of armor. Okay. This doesn't look too terrible. It's just a lot of crafting. We have to make that the leather strap, I suppose. Uh, we've gotten some leather from the imps way back in the day. Our fisher has been fishing up some leather as well. I haven't checked this thing in a little while. This See if we got anything cool in here. We've got a lot of these Safari Net single uses, some fishing rods, a um, lot of name tags. Haven't had much use for those. Doesn't look like we've gotten any books for a while. Uh, I guess we can open up these plastic bags while we're over here and see what kind of goodies we got. So we got a single use Safari Net. Let's open up another one. Another single use Safari Net. That's awesome. And finally. The last one, for sand. Aw, oh, yeah. Best present ever. Okay, so yeah, our fisher has been doing work. Um, 
like I said, this is how we're getting our lily pads, too. That's how we got those for the farm. We've only gotten two more, which isn't too many. I would like to see more because I would like to expand out our farms just a little bit. Uh, probably take up these three spots over here, these three platforms. Uh, we'll have maybe... I don't know. We need to have a tree farm set up. And I would like to expand out the farm that we're using for the biofuel. Make that a little bit bigger. And that will probably be on its own platform. Uh... So, I got some crafting to do <laughs> to make this jetpack. I am kind of interested in seeing how much better it is. This jetpack right here holds 10 million RF. The upgraded one holds 50 million RF. Uh, I don't know if it's much faster or what's all different with it. I assume it's going to be much better because it requires all of this stuff. Ooh, fuck's crystal. What is that? That is a diamond with destabilized redstone. Oh man, okay, so let's make some of those just for fun. We'll take 16 and we'll do 32, whoops, 32, yep, 32 redstone. Should just be able to put those in our machines and they will have added magma crucible and these. Okay, so that's how we make those flux crystals. They do stack, which is good. All right, so I tell you guys what, I'm going to make a cut here. I'm going to start crafting some things. Glowstone elevation units. Which is Lumium ingots. Have we made this stuff yet? I don't think we have. Lumium blend. I think that's new in um, one of the newer versions here of thermal expansion. So energized glowstone bucket, pulverized silver, and pulverized tin. That's not terrible. Okay, but like I said, I am going to take some time here, get some stuff crafted up, and we'll be right back, guys. Okay, wow, that was a lot of crafting. I wasn't really expecting that much, but <laughs> I think I got all the pieces together. I had to make a whole bunch more of these flux armor plating, or I guess more correctly, I had to make a whole bunch of these flux, uh, flux crystals that go into those because those also, you have to make a bunch of them for this thing, and I think there was another spot, yeah, these flux thrusters also require them. So a lot of diamonds goes into that as well. Okay, so I think everything should be ready to go. Actually, I need to combine those guys. And if I do that, uh oh, what am I missing? Oh, of course, my jetpack. What else am I missing? The resonant thrusters didn't go in there. Why not? Oh, I have to turn them into flux thrusters, of course. So there's one. And I think. Okay, there's two, <laughs> and then I'm just going to need my jetpack to go in there. Oh, man, here we go. Awesome. Okay, so now we got this guy. Hopefully that is much better than my jetpack was. I'd like to get this thing charged up. Is it going to take a minute? Yeah, it's going to take a minute. And done. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that <laughs> took a long time, actually. Hopefully we don't have to charge this thing up too often. Yeah, I don't want to have to sit there and watch that thing for forever. So there we go. Um, look, okay, hold on a second. Let's take off all of our armor real quick. So we got no shirts down here. When we put this thing on, that gives us six. That is a lot of armor. So with the diamond leggings, that's almost full armor. And then the silver boots. Okay, so those are just half. And that's half. So if I make, like, diamond boots or something, if we can get a good haste enchantment on it, um, yeah, we can definitely forego some other armor, but yeah, we got full armor now. I think that's the first time so far in the series. So let's take a moment to have a snack before we try out our jet plate. So it says engine, hover, and charger. Does that mean that this jet plate, did I say jet plate? This jet plate, does this do the same thing as this resonant flux capacitor? That might. Um... So engine, hover, all right, let's just try it out. Okay, I'm not noticing if that is better than the other one. I know it holds a lot more power, so that's cool. So in hover mode, oh, oh, is this pure creative flight now? Let's see. Okay, we do not sink it down at all. That is amazing. Okay, so definitely worth it, <laughs> just for just for that fact. It would have been nice having that when I was doing all this building, but whatever, we got it done. Okay, yeah, I had this builder's wand, the regular one on me, actually, when I was doing that building. 
Oh, do we move faster? Am I crazy? Are we faster? Let's try without the silver boots. Okay, so the silver boots still might... Oh, actually, holding down control. Wow, we move fast. I might not need those silver boots anymore, to be honest. Yeah, we can zoom around. That's crazy. That's holding down the sprint button. Do we go much faster with that on? Oh, man, I think we do. <laughs> so we might want the silver boots. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I was using the regular builder's wand when I was building these pyramids out because I didn't want it to go crazy and have like huge mistakes when I do misclick with it. So we can go ahead and put that guy away. So that's awesome though. We got this new jet pack. Um, yeah, I do want to see if it will charge things up. So I guess our Maddock here, let's grab some wood. We'll just place down a few planks and see if that does in fact charge it up. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's using any power, and if I take that off... Well, maybe one of these things. Let's turn this off. And I don't know how to turn this off. <laughs> I'll have to figure out what the special button is for that. I'm sure there is one. But yeah, it's charging this thing up, it looks like. Oh no, now it's not charging it. Okay. If I put that on, okay, yeah, that's exactly what it is. So I don't need the resonant flux capacitor anymore. Very cool. Okay, I like that. Now, another thing I'm curious about, uh, does Simply Jetpacks have, like, some kind of a solar helmet? So we can charge up just by being outside. Mysterious Potato can do the thing. That is very mysterious. Jetpack Fueler. Fuels worn jetpack. What? Fuels worn jetpacks by pulling fuel from blocks in the world? Use on blocks to pull fuel. I don't understand what that means or what you can do with that. I'm going to have to do a little research. It does not look like there is any kind of a solar helmet, unfortunately. I'd really like for this thing to just charge up by being <laughs> outside, but unfortunately it doesn't look like that is going to be the case. Okay, so that is really awesome. I'm pretty happy with that. We don't have to have the inventory minus one on us anymore. So now we can, you know, fill up our inventory for all sorts of building or when we go mining and things like that, we have that extra space. That witch head I still have on me <laughs> from, uh, I think when I killed a witch before, we'll just stick it over here. Okay, I'm almost at the point, I think I mentioned this before, that I'm just gonna take these bows and just have them automatically destroyed. Uh, this filing cabinet is pretty much full and it's like super laggy. And every time I put them in, it's like, here, I'll show you guys how laggy it is. If I try and click things in there, it's like, ah, get in there. And it was actually so full that it wouldn't accept any more items. I had to remove a bunch of the regular bows out of here. I don't know if it even shows the ones that are enchanted or not. It doesn't seem like, the, okay, here we go. Yeah, there are unenchanted ones here at the start. I had to remove a bunch of those to let in more space, but we really don't need them anymore. I don't know why I was keeping them to begin with, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, that's something I'll have to do is uh, remove those guys. Re or start automatically destroying all of those. And then hopefully that chest, I won't have to continually go back there and clean out all of the time. Okay, guys. So I was just doing some testing with this jetpack. I made it back up in the world just to make sure. And I wanted to see if this thing does activate that safety mode if you're about to die when you're falling down without hover mode on and sure enough it does so if we go up here without hover mode on yep it says user is about to die activating hover mode now something interesting i was doing this and it brought me down to half a heart but it did also say user is about to die and it activated the hover mode so i guess sometimes it's a little weird i don't know if it'll let you actually die or what caused that problem i know like i can jump up and down and fall down and i'll use some of my hearts and it won't kill me, but only if I go up high enough where I take enough damage uh, that I would die does it activate that hover mode and it prevents you from dying, which is really, really awesome. That's a great feature. <laughs> I think that was on the Resonant Jetpack, but I never really tested it out because I didn't really want to kill myself. But yeah, I figured since we're on the top end, we should give that a go and see, you know, just how good this is. And it looks like it is pretty good. So uh, what I want to do... Let's look at our quest book and let's start working on some quests. So it says I have two with unclaimed rewards. I think that was from the, some of the uh, from some of the Thomcraft stuff. If I could stop 
twisting my words around. There we go. Uh, thaumaturgy. Yeah, so I had to make some of this stuff for that crafting, and I didn't realize that it unlocked some of these quests. So, um, water infused, entropy, earth, water, fire infused, and ear infused stone. I guess I have collected all of those in my inventory at some point. Uh, that's going to give us a mixed crystal cluster. Let's claim that. And then balanced shards. I did make those so we could smelt that down into whatever... I forget what that turns into. Balanced. I had to smelt one of these down, or I guess two of those down. Into the Salus Mundus. I can't remember what I used this for. It was something... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's for making these essential level emitters. I had to make some of that stuff. Okay, so then we got credit for making the balanced shards. Let's claim that reward. Okay, so now we got two mixed crystal clusters. So it says works as an infusion stabilizer. So we can stick this, stick this around our infusion altar and that'll help prevent some stuff, bad stuff from happening. We should have more than just two, but like we've shown before, we have all these monster heads underneath here. And that helped us make a completely unstable or dangerous infusion with no problems at all. So I don't know if we need, really need to do much more than what we already have, other than just for aesthetics around. But we're really not going to be working on Thomcraft today. I wanted to get those quests busted out because having quests with unclaimed rewards is one of those things that bothers me. We gotta claim them! We gotta get all the cool stuff! Uh, what I want to do, let's start looking at Mystical Blood. This is the blood magic portion of this mod pack. We haven't touched this at all. It's the only one that's at 0% besides for the hoarding, which has no quest unlocked. So let's go ahead and fix the fact that that is at 0% and let's start jumping into a little blood magic. So we got two quests that we can do. Uh, I think sacrifice will be the first one. So this is blood magic can be a dark art if you use other people. The powers that be advise against taking such an evil route. As long as you are careful and sacrifice your own energy to power the magic, your alignment should not shift too much. The first thing you'll need is a sacrificial orb and a blood altar. Once you have the blood altar set down, right click in the air with the orb to siphon off some life energy to power the altar. That's also a reason why I wanted to get all of my hearts up because we'll be using a lot of our life to fill this thing up right at the start and having as much health as possible is definitely a great boon for that. Okay, so we need to make a blood altar and a sacrificial orb. So let's get some stuff going here. Uh, how about if I just search orb? Okay, so there is a sacrificial orb. So that is a couple of flint and some glass that is very cheap and inexpensive. Your first prick. Okay, and then we also needed, what was it, a blood altar? I apparently have spelt that wrong. Okay. Isn't it A-L-T-E-R? Altair. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I feel like that's a misspelling. Maybe I'm just thinking something else. I don't know. So furnace, some stone, seared bricks, and flint. Do we have... We have all of that except for the furnace. So let's make that guy. And there is our blood altar. Okay, so now we got the first two pieces of this done. We can claim that reward. That's going to give us some leather, which is great because we used our last four pieces to make that belt for our jetpack. Uh, and a full heart, so we'll go ahead and claim that. Okay, so that unlocks blood orb, alchemical chemistry, and blank slate. There's also this blood writing that's down here by itself. Let's go ahead and click on this guy. So this is, if hunting down squid for ink doesn't suit you and you don't mind a few paper cuts, consider using blood for ink. It will pull its, its ink from your LP network anytime it's in your inventory. If your network is empty, it will refill from you. So I guess I'll take off my hearts to use this thing. It reminds me, <laughs> what was that, uh, I guess that Harry Potter movie? I don't know, it's kind of weird. Um, so red heart canisters, we'll get four of those. We don't need those. Our hearts are already full, so I don't know. We'll just stick those in our inventory, I guess. So bloody... Scrivener's Tools, okay. This guy right here, Scrive, Scrive, Scrivener's? 
<laughs> okay, I'm not going to pronounce it anymore. So this says Forbidden Magic. I'm clicking on this thing and it will not allow me to see a recipe. Is that a Thumbcraft? It might be a Thumb... Oh, that's right. My Thumb Nom account. I put in this chest along with all this other stuff. So let's see. Um, Thumbic Raisins. Artifice. Chemicry. Okay. Well, I don't see it here. I thought I would have seen something right away. There's leather and meat and eggs and stuff like that. Atomic Horizons Engineer. I don't think it's going to be in there. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Bloody Scrivener's Tools. So there we go. We learned that. So we need a bucket of life. So I guess we need to actually fill up our blood altar, first of all. We need the weak blood orb as well, and a feather and a glass bottle. So that's not too bad to make. We just gonna have to get some stuff set up for that. Um. Okay. So first things first. Let's go ahead and I guess we'll put the blood magic stuff over here since it's kind of with a thumb craft. I guess I don't know. We're gonna have to figure out the correct size for the full size blood altar. Generally speaking, when I've done blood magic in the past, I like having two of these things. So I might actually move it up here and have one on this one and one on that one. And I don't know what we'd put in the center here. But for now, we'll stick it right here. That's not a big deal. So sacrificial orb. We just need to right click this next to this guy. Does it say how much is in there? No. That's too bad. I don't want to use up too much of my, my health doing this. So we got to wait for our health to regenerate. Okay, so, um, while we're waiting for that, I think there was more things to do, right? So, Blood Orb. Actually, yeah, I think we should do this. Most of the mystical devices require blood to power, but it isn't possible to supply all that blood at once. Blood donations can be saved for later through the use of Blood Orb. Different tiers of Blood Orb can hold different amounts of stored blood. Though recipes require a specific tier or higher. So, this says to create your first tier of blood or fill an altar with 2,000 life points. And then right click the altar with a diamond and watch it transform. You can right click with your new blood orb to siphon off 200 LP into your network. The network is separate from the LP stored in the altar. If uh, LP stored in the network doesn't drain over time, right? Okay, so we need to put a diamond in here. We need to make sure this thing is full. So, let us grab a diamond. There we go. I'm not sure how much is in this thing. Um, yeah, I know it slowly drains out over time. There's like a little internal tank that holds some. So once you fill this thing up, it will go down a little bit uh, when you break it every time. So we're going to have to continually fill this up right at the start. I don't know how many we need <laughs> or how much is in there. We need 2,000. Hopefully that's enough. Uh, we should see that diamond change into the weak blood orb. Um, do we have any health potions? We have some. So this will help out too. Don't really have much use for those anyway. Uh, another thing we can use is regeneration. So there's another one, Vilamendi, that's Batania. Go ahead and use these guys. There's that one. This one. Our diamond still has not changed. It's still doing its thing in there, though. Let's go ahead and use some of that health we just reclaimed. So how much is this? Is that the same thing as just one of those regular potions? Yeah, it looks like that's the same. Oh, it has multiple uses. Oh, okay, in the parentheses is how many uses it has. That's awesome. So that's multiple health potions in one single thing. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, so there we go. It just transformed. So now we have a weak blood orb. We need to right click on this thing so it says our name on it. There we go. And we can stick it in here and it'll siphon off all of the LP that's in the blood altar into our blood network. Um, let's hold off on doing that though and let's continue on with the quest line. We'll follow what this thing says to do. So that's going to give us four blood runes. We need these things to make the different tiers of the altars. So let's go and claim that reward. Okay, so now we got a whole bunch of stuff unlocked here. It looks like a... No, is that the tier 2 or is that the tier 3? I can't remember. We got a different one here. 
And that's one. Oh, that's a fourth tier. Okay, so that's a little bit down the ways. We're not going to do that right now. So blank slate. Uh, one of the primary components of blood magic are slate slates of all kinds. The most basic is made by putting a block of stone in an altar and infusing it with blood. When it is done infusing, it becomes a blank slate. Okay, so we need just one. So we need one stone. I do not want to infuse my wireless terminal. <laughs> We'll just stick that little fella in there, and that should turn into a slate. I don't think that takes too much LP out of the uh, the altar here. Uh, I'll go ahead and put a little bit more in there, though. There we go. Yep, it is done. Very quick process. This is the first tier. You can put that back in the altar, and it turns into many different forms, all the way to a demonic slate, I think, after the third or fourth time. But, yeah, it gets more expensive, and that's something that's going to be further down the road that we are going to look at later on. So that'll give us three more blank slates for the reward. All right, so upgraded altar, and then we have alchemical chemistry. Let's look at this one first. We can make some cool potions with this stuff. So this says, many things can be made through the use of chemistry. In most cases, they are just as good as more, quote, natural, unquote, options. To get started, you will need an alchemical chemistry set. Um, with this set, you can create leather potions and many other things okay so alchemical I'm spelling things wrong here where is it um, how about set <laughs> that's the easier way to search for it right so we needed the weak blood or brewing stand and some obsidian okay so let's go down here it's unfortunate that the wireless terminal does not have a crafting grid in it that's one thing I've always wished that the uh, wireless applied energistic stuff did, but fortunately that has not been added yet. Guess we can throw some of the stuff away that we don't need on us. Okay, that guy, that, that. Our hunger is probably going down. It's almost there. Right, so we needed a brewing stand. So let's make one of those. I know we already have one, but this is gonna go into the recipe. And there's that, there's that. Guess I've gone through all of the obsidian that I had. Time to make some more of that here pretty quick. Let's just grab the rest of the obsidian that we have down here. 32 more blocks, okay. And we can go ahead and use that in this recipe. Just like so. Right, so that's now done. A chemical chemistry set that's going to give us a reward bag and a vial of revitalization. I assume that's regeneration. Does not look like we have unlocked anything further. Okay, so the reward bag is basic. Yeah, chandelier. That keeps mobs from spawning in a small spot, I think. Also lights up the area a little bit, kind of like torches. Might be a little stronger than a torch, I don't remember. Um, so the alchemical chemistry set looks kind of like a brew stand, but you can put in five items and you need to put in your orb. Didn't mean to click that into the thing. So we can stick the orb here. We put in the five different up to five things and it combines into the center one. So that's how you do the crafting. All right. So... Upgraded altar. Is this something quick that we can do? This wants us to make nine blood runes. We should already have four blood runes. Yes, we have four. We have these blank slates, which I believe you used to craft that. Okay, so this says your small little altar will not allow you to do much. You will need to upgrade it to research more powerful tiers. Picture, pictures of the upgraded layout may help, and if so, we have time as provided... Example layouts on the main form, Thread of the Blood Magic. The first step towards an upgraded altar is Blood Runes. You will need eight placed in a 3x3 three three, no center block. One level down from the altar. The altar will be placed in the center above the empty space. And eight runes will surround it on the next level down. You can replace the Blood Runes later with better runes. Right. So we need to make nine of these. Well, I guess we need to make five more. So the Blood Rune. Can't remember how you make this thing. So it's stone, the orb, and then two blank slates get you one of those. 
So we need to make, I guess, four more blank slates. No, oh, we need to make a bunch more than that. Maybe six more blank slates. So let me get going on that, guys, and we will be right back. And there we go. We should have enough of those blank slates now to make the other five that we needed. We need a total of nine of those guys. So let's look at the quest book. And that says that's complete. So that's going to give us a potion of regeneration and a full heart. Right, so that just unlocked a bunch of other stuff over here. We got a lot of stuff down here we're going to have to be looking at. We're going to have to upgrade the altar. And I really don't want to start doing that until I get it in its final location. Uh, because I don't want to have to empty it out and refill it and all of this stuff. It's just better to get it laid out the proper way to start with. Alright guys, so I tell you what, we got a lot of cool stuff done today. Very happy we finally got our jetpack upgraded to the top tier. Holds a lot of power, we don't have to have that flux capacitor on us anymore. Our base, the, the design of it I believe is complete. But yeah, there's still stuff to be worked on. We still gotta put things on all these different platforms around. Very cool stuff. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you did like it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.